video was actually filmed about a month ago um, and then when I did film it I did try and edit it but it just was not going my way so I just completely like deleted that edit and kind of left it a spot I'm gonna edit it now and hopefully upload it this week my birthday is in a month which I'm so excited for too so yeah um, I'm also gonna do an end clip um, at the end to show what the stick and poke tattoo looks like now after a month later so yeah um, that's all I've got to say for now um, I hope you enjoy let's get on with the video also quickly before I forget this video is not filmed the best I this was my first time filming in an angle like that so yeah I'm gonna when I do more if I do more stick and poke tattoos videos I will find a better angle and kind of way to film it um so yeah that's quickly all I also wanted to say now seriously let's get on with the video hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video and i'm here by the way i'm right here but in today's video i thought i'd show you how i did my stick and pose so yeah so everything i have is on my worktop um that's not included that's just there but yeah i thought i'd show you so i used the windsor and newton black ink and then i got this tattoo needle off of amazon so i'll link everything down below and then i use my cotton pads and then tcp which if you don't know it's like an antiseptic um liquid form um and then i use a pen which is right behind me to draw the design what i'm, what I'm gonna do um so yeah and then i use this as like a kind of work thing just to make sure nothing gets stained and so that I can just lean on something and yeah so what I do like to do first is I like to just map out the design of what I want to do and I'm not sure what I'm going to do today literally this is such a spontaneous thing with I'm feeling like shit um but yeah I don't know what I'm going to do I think I might do something on my thumb because my thumb is the only one that I haven't done anything on but what? I don't know. I think I might just do a number. I might do number three, but I feel like three is quite hard. I might do a number. I thought I might draw a number three and um, um, number seven, because seven is my lucky number, three is my favourite number. So obviously, the design I will try and go back on like keep doing it until I get it perfect I do want it to be quite small so I do just rub it off just to make sure that I'm able to just oops, I keep getting fluff on my finger and yeah I'm just gonna do it quite normal I'm just gonna I want to do it quite small because I don't want it to be too big That's alright, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna do that. So it usually does take me quite a few attempts to get this perfect, but this took me only two, which is good. So now what I like to do is I like to take a cotton pad and my TCP and just clean that area now. I like to do it also with a pen because obviously the pen has been on stuff so i like to just make sure that that's cleaned over so it doesn't take it off just in case you're wondering because it just doesn't take it off it does leave it there still very faintly but it's still there so i'm just going to clean that area like so and then done so obviously it's quite faint but it's still there i still know what i'm doing so now i'm going to take my ink and I'm, okay, this probably sounds really bad and I wouldn't suggest doing this and how I'm doing it but 
what I do is I get the cap, I know this is going to sound so bad, and the thing, and then I like to, with my foam pads, just sterilise the ink cap, because obviously it does have ink on it, I like to just sterilise it with my whiskey. So now it's all sterile and then what I do is gonna I was just doing this to turn off but yeah this is how I do it and I like to just put the ink in the cap of the ink thing afterwards I do clean this out afterwards and then I'm just gonna get on with it now so I like to take my needle and I don't open it the full way because obviously I am going to put this back in and this is what the needle looks like oh yeah wash your hands before you do it so it's just like that and then what you want to do is oh, can you even see the ink cap there we are um, and then what you want to do is just dip the needle into the ink I'm probably going to get so much hate for doing it this way but honestly I find it works this way and then you're just gonna start And then with the palm pads, I just like to wipe over it and see how it's looking. So, also what I like to do is I like to go in with TCP and just put it on the top pad. Again, this probably you shouldn't do, you should probably just use a tissue or something. I just like to wipe over it just to make sure that it's still sterile and just to get off any of the ink and the pen and everything just so I know what I'm doing so as you can see this is how it's looking so far after just one a time going over it and this does take quite a while to get to your perfect colour
finished it. I, can't, I like how it's come out. So it's quite dark. So what I do now is now that it, I like how it is, I like to go over the fresh cotton pad, put TCP over it, and I just like to clean it again. Just by doing this, just to make sure it's clean. And I tend to just wrap this around on my finger for about a minute to two minutes. Now that that's all cleaned, I just go back over it again like that. And then I like to go in with Stabilo, which is an antiseptic cream. Mine's actually like pretty much finished. Let me find you one. There is some left, I can literally see it. There we go. And I just like to put that over it. I like to do quite a thick coat. And I usually have plasters, but I don't actually have a plaster right now on me. So let me go grab one. So I usually ha use bigger plasters, but because this is only a tiny one, I like to, I'm going to use a small one. Thing is, I don't think it's gonna stick because the cream is in it. So what I'm gonna do is leave that like that, and then grab some of my medicinal tape. And just use the tape to. Stick it down into my finger. This, I suggest using a cling film. I usually do use cling film, but I have none on me, so I'm using a plaster. And yeah, that's basically all I do. And yeah. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, please like, subscribe and comment down below more videos you'd like me to do, and I'll see you back in the next one, bye!